So now Jesse was asking me what the difference between a straight butt and a bent butt was. Um, a straight butt basically is good for just about any size tackle for stand-up, um, but really limits you to about 20 pounds of drag pressure. Over 20 pounds of drag pressure, um, the drag pressures get really uh, intense in your lower back. And the straight butt's good for everything up to about that. And I'll show you right here. I'm going to put about, about 15 to 20 pounds of drag pressure on this rod uh, while he's set up in this, this bucket style harness. And we'll see how he reacts to it. Now, just kind of lean back, bend your knees, and you feel the forward pull like that? Oh, yeah. You feel like you're going to fall over? Uh, yeah. I can pull you with one hand and knock you right over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm going to do the same exact thing with the curve butt. Just switch that right out. Now, same, same size reel, same rod. The only difference is this has got a big bend in there. And what that does is basically acts like a fulcrum on a diving board. It takes all the pressure out, gives you a, a, and changes the pressures around. Now, same exact thing, I didn't adjust the harness at all. I'm going to put the same amount of pressure on the rod. Now, I'm putting actually more pressure on, and all he's doing is bending his knees, and that's it. And what's the pressure like now? That's a lot better, more stable, you feel a lot more pressure on the rod. Where's, where do you feel the pressure the most? Basically just on my legs and my lower back. Now, where do you, where do you, where do you feel, show, show the camera where you feel the pressure. All basically right in my knees, right here. And just bend your, bend your knees a little bit more and kind of lean back. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's, that's a lot more pressure than most people will feel for stand-up. And the curved butt definitely outweighs the, uh, the straight butt in, in heavy drag situations.